Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Live or Diecast. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning into this video, commenting on my videos, and interacting with the channel. You know what today is? Today's Wednesday. It's Wheel Swap Wednesday. That's right. Today, we are going to be taking number two of five from the Deutschland Design set, premium set. We're going to take the wheels, the real riders, from the Audi or Audi S4 Quattro. And we are going to be putting those on the 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. And I think it's going to remind me, I was thinking about this, it's going to remind me of uh, the Nissan A-Case Super, the Nissan 300ZX. So stick around, stay tuned, we're going to get into this wheel swap, we're going to get the camera turned around, we're going to get everything turned around, and we're going to get this done and see what you think. This is for somebody, and uh, this has already been spoken for, so this will be going out to one of my diecast homies, included in a trade that we have worked out. So stay tuned, stick around for that trade video, because you know I'll be sharing that. Let's get to this wheel swap. Hello everybody, we're back. Live or Diecast, thanks for joining in. Today we are doing the wheel swap on the 1994 3000 GT. We're gonna take the wheels from the Audi or Audi, however you prefer to say that. And we are going to put those on the 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Now I have already popped this open. And it's not a bad looking casting. 3000 GT VR4s were an all wheel drive twin turbo model. Those things were pretty quick. I worked at a Mitsubishi dealership right out of high school. Started there in 1998. There were some GSTs and GSX Mitsubishi Eclipses uh, that were pretty quick. Turbo and all wheel drive as well so Mitsubishi's do have some quick quick cars so there's the 3000 GT and here is the Audi S4 Quattro let's crack this open and like I said this is uh, going to somebody this is spoken for so this will not be given away it will not be staying in my collection either now I will say I am not a huge fan of this casting or this model in general and even in real life I don't want to offend anybody it's just not my my thing but however these wheels are freaking sick and I think they are going to look cool on the 3000 GT gonna give it a nice stance and they are going to be a perfect fit I do believe so let's get to it I'm gonna get my tray over here get everything set up and we are going to start our wheel swap. All right, we're going to start with our number number 964 drill bit. Doesn't matter which one we start with. Let's start with the 3000 GT. We'll get the rivet rings drilled off, the rivet heads, whatever you want to call those first, and then we'll get our pilot holes drilled so we can tap our threads for the screws. All right, now let's see if we can get this bad boy to pop apart for us. And it is going to come apart nice and easy. I'm set this to the side. Let's get our plastic wheels extracted. Be careful not to break the tabs off because we're going to use those to help hold the new wheel and axle assemblies in place. So you do not want to break those off. If you do, it's no big deal. Just try to avoid it if you can. Set those to the side. Do a little bit of detail work on the bottom of this. <clears throat> And the details are done on the front and rear of the body, so that's very, very cool. 
Now next, take our wheels and tires, set those off to the side. Take our body and our glass out of the 3000 GT, set it to the side. And we are going to get ready to take our number 51 drill bit and we are going to drill some pilot holes in the front and rear post so we can make some threads for our screws. Number 51 drill bit. All right, so we've taken our number 51 drill bit. We have drilled some pilot holes in the front and rear post of our casting of the body. Now we're gonna take our number 52 plug tap and we are going to thread some threads for our screws. All right, we've got our threads made so our screws will go nicely in those posts and hold it together securely. So we're gonna set that out of the side. Then we're gonna grab our Audi. Now I've already taken my 964 spit and I have drilled the, the rivet heads off of this. So we're gonna take, take this one apart and set it to the side. And now I'm gonna take my little end nips or whatever you wanna call them and I'm just gonna nip the ends off and we are going to extract these. All right, so we've got those little tabs nipped off of there and we're just gonna take our screwdriver and we'll put it under there and we're just gonna put a little pressure and it should come right out of that little channel and it does. And we're gonna set that metal base to the side uh, the person who wants this, this is going to in the trade, also wants this body. And so I will put this back together, snap that back together, and we will send this off to him as well in the trade. But here are the beauties we are after, and we have got our wheels. I think these are going to look super, super cool on the 3000 GT. I'm going to get my tray cleaned off, get some tools put away, get cleaned up here. And be right back and we'll get this thing put together and check it out. All right, so we've got our body drilled, tapped, ready for screws. We've got our windshield. We've got our new set of wheels that we're gonna be putting on this and I think they are gonna look sick. down in there. Sometimes they need a little persuasion. There we go. Let's pop the rear one in. That one went in a little better. Now we'll take our screwdriver and we'll fold those tabs that we were careful not to break off earlier and that'll help hold our wheel and axle assemblies in those little channels. Keep those from coming out of there, see? It works nice. This one here can do just a little bit more. There we go. This is gonna look really good, you guys. I think he's really gonna like this. Oh, yeah. In my opinion, this could easily pass as a super treasure hunt. Now, still rolls nice, still a roller. That thing looks Sick. Let's get our screws in it. Let's get it screwed together. I'll get the camera turned around and we'll check it out a little bit better. All right, let's check them out. Remember, this is Wheel Swap Wednesday. So the Audi, 
I don't think it turned out too bad. I think that looks pretty cool. Very, very fitting. I think those Matchbox wheels look wonderful on that yellow Audi S4 Quattro. But let's get to it. The star of the show, the 94 Mitsubishi 3000 GT by Matchbox. The tail lights are done. It's got the license plate. This thing is sick. You can see the 3000 GT on the rear. You got your backup lights there on the inside, just outside the 3000 GT on each side of it. You got the diamond triangle on the license plate. That well-known Mitsubishi emblem. The front, it is done. You got the marker lights, the parking lights, the Mitsubishi diamond on the front. But let's check out these wheels. I think these wheels on this casting, it kind of reminds me a lot of the RX-7. That black RX-7 from last year, I believe, was that D-Case. I found two of those at Target. Ended up giving one of them to the worker. Clear glass. It's got a beautiful metallic black charcoal paint job. What do you think? Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the wheel swap. Remember, this is Wheel Swap Wednesday. Rolls nice. And this one, these are gone. These are already spoken for. I have gotten rid of these in a trade. And I cannot wait to show you all what I am getting. Uh, I'm going to show you all the lot that I'm trading for one single car. Uh, the car is very, very uh, monumental for me to add to the collection. Very, a lot of memories. Uh, I grew up watching the show and wished I was either one of them from time to time and definitely wish I had a car like what I'm getting in the trade so stick around stay tuned for that thanks for watching my videos this has been wheel swap Wednesday with live or die cast as always thanks for watching my videos commenting and interacting with the channel remember friendliness is free we all have a purpose until next time this has been live or die cast I'm out peace